Hello my dear students, welcome back again in our mathematics class. Hope all of you are well at home. So it is our third video on rupees and paise. Already uh, we have learned conversion of rupees to paise and paise to rupees and the different kinds of uh, currency of different countries. So those who have not watched the video yet, they can watch the video first then they can start this video so we have learned what is rupees and what is paise and what are the coins we have used in our daily life that we have learned in the previous video so today we are going to learn addition and subtraction of money Dear students, it is very essential for us to know how to add the money. It is essential when we uh, go for shopping, we bought, uh, purchase five or four things and if we can't add the money, then anyone can make us fool. They, they can take uh, from us the more, more money which is not required for, the five, for um, purchasing five things. So we need to know how to add and how to subtract the money. So it is very essential for us to know the Today we are going to start with addition of money and after that we will learn subtraction of money and in the last you will get a question paper means a worksheet uh, which you, uh, you will get it from your school website also so you have to solve it either you can solve it in your copy and you can check it from your respected teacher or you can send it to uh, send, send the uh, answers in the comment section in the YouTube in this YouTube link so um, let us start our addition in the first question here we need to add 52 rupees 50 paise and 56 rupees 25 paise so our first amount is 52 rupees 50 paise and our second amount is 56 rupees 25 paise so what to do first we have to have to make two columns of rupees and paise so there will be two column rupees and paise so here you can write the symbol of rupees and you can and paise uh, in place of paise you can use p so i have written rupees and paise so what you want you can do it first of all we need to write it then let us check our first amount. Our first amount is 52 rupees 50 paise. So we will write 52 under rupees column and we will write 50 under paise column. Then the second amount, we have to come to the second amount. Our second amount is 56 rupees 25 paise. So we will write 56 under rupees and 25 under paise. After that, we will add it as we have added the numbers. See, after adding, see, we have to use the addition process as we have used in normal numbers, like in numbers. Like five, first, first we have to start with the passage column. So, 0 plus 5, 5, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 6 plus 2, 8, and 5, 5, 10. So, addition is very easy, you know that. So after that in answer we have to write 108 rupees and 75 paise. So this is our answer. One thing you need to remember that in paise's place the highest place is tens place. Means two digit we can write max. Let's take another example that is question number 2. Add 120 rupees 67 paise 30 rupees 50 paise. So this three two commas indicating that it is a sum of we where we have to add three amounts three different amounts so first of all what we need to do we need to make two columns first column will be rupees and second column will be paise so now we have to put the numbers put the amounts in proper place so our first amount is 100, 120 rupees so we need to write it under rupees and as there is no paise so we can write 00 under paise next 
uh, amount is 67 paise so in this amount there is no rupees so we need to write zero under rupees and uh, 67 under paise then our third amount our third amount is 13 rupees 50 paise so we need to write 13 under uh, rupees and uh, 50 under paise so please uh, try to give try to arrange it in proper places like in rupees we need to write 13 uh, 3 under 0 okay so that is the ones column for rupees and tens column uh, th in this way you need to maintain the places after that after adding what we will get we get 134 under rupees and 17 under paise so the answer is 134 rupees 17 paise in this way you have to write it and if you know, let us check our third example add rupees 345 rupees 56.60 and rupees 0 0.01 so uh, the amounts are in symbol here the amounts are in symbol so we can uh, we can write it in rupees and paise means we can express it in rupees and paise easily so first of all we need to make two columns again and our first amount is 345 rupees so we we'll write 345 under rupees and as there is no paise so we can write 00 under paise and after that uh, 56.60 rupees so that means uh, we will write rupees 56 under rupees and 60 paise under paise then we have to write 0 0.01 rupees so that means uh, we, we, we write 0 under rupees 0 1 we should write in under paise now we have to add it so we will start with the paise column and first of all make sure that the you have arranged the numbers in proper places like once tens you have to maintain in this way so in passes column we will write maximum two digit keep it mind and after that in we have to add the carryover and anything uh, in uh, rupees column so uh, just put the numbers in proper places like ones place and tens place you have to maintain like this and after that after adding these three amounts we get 401 rupees 61 paise so how to write it in symbol you know that we have learned it in previous video those who have don't not watch yet so they can watch the video first then they can start this video so rupees 401.61 will be the answer so in this way we can we can solve it this is our another example example number means question number four so here we should add three amounts three different amounts our first amount is rupees 345 so we know that we have to uh, write under uh, rupees 345 and our second amount is 4560 paise so here all uh, we know that 4560 paise we can we cannot place in paise column because paise column means uh, we can write maximum two digit so here already four digit are there so we need to convert it in rupees and paise so how to convert you know that so we can write it uh, in the first that 4560 paise equals to 45 rupees 60 paise okay so then we can easily uh, place the 45 under rupees and 60 under paise and then the rest of the numbers are uh, amount so we can easily put uh, 0 0.89 means 89 uh, so as there is 0 0 indicates that there is no rupees and paise 89 is there in in place of paise so uh, we should arrange the numbers first then we have to add it after adding we have got 391 paise uh, sorry 391 rupees 49 paise so how to write it in symbol you know that 391 point now we will learn how to subtract the money see here also you need to uh, make two columns rupees and paise and uh, now just uh, first of all let us read the question subtract 92 rupees 5 paise from 100 rupees 10 paise so in you know that in subtraction there will must be two amounts 
so two different amounts are there now we need to choose that which one is the minuend and which one is the subtrahend as we know that 92 rupees 5 paise from 100 rupees 10 paise so this from indicates that of uh, 100 rupees 10 paise is the minuend so we have to put 100 rupees 10 paise above means it is the bigger one so we will write 100 rupees 10 paise under the rupees column and paise column then we need to write 92 rupees 5 after putting the numbers in proper place we need to subtract as we have subtract the normal numbers so we need to follow the same rule so here also we can borrow we can uh, borrow borrowed something and i have not shown here uh, as first first of all we need to start with the ones place of passes column that is 0 minus 5 so here uh, we, we need to borrow one so that will uh, after subtraction we will, will get 5 in ones place of uh, passes column then uh, 1 will be cut that means 0 will be there in passes column in tens place uh, in this way we can subtract and after subtraction we have got 8 rupees 5 paise so the subtraction procedure i am not telling you now because you know the procedure so you first of all you need to arrange the numbers in proper place that is very important and after putting it you just take another example subtract rupees 58.50 from rupees 100 so the first thing in subtraction is to choose which is the minuend and which is the subtrahend then you will get the difference so first of all you need to make two columns of rupees and paise then you need to put the minuend as after from it is rupees 100 so uh, we know that 100 is more than 58.50 means 58 rupees 50 paise so we should write 100 in the top means in the place of minuend then we, we, we should put 58.50 in place of subtrahend then we should subtract after subtraction i have got here rupees 41 41 rupees 50 paise so how to write it in symbol you know that you just put the symbol of rupees and 41.50 it is our seventh number question it is also another example of subtraction uh, see subtract here the uh, a is not there in subtraction just um, please pardon that uh, it will be subtract s u b t r a c t subtract so here the first amount is 2340 paise from uh, and the second amount is 50 rupees so uh, we need to first of all we need to convert it in rupees and paise the first amount what is given that we need to first convert then as as i have not written here you can write it in your copy also that 23 rupees 40 paise and uh, as uh, 50 rupees is more than 23 rupees so we need to place 50 rupees in the top so in the place of minuend after that after subtraction we have got 26 rupees 60 paise this is our last example of subtraction see already it is clear that which is the minuend here and which is the subtrahend here because uh, here the symbol is given that the sign means minus sign is given so we can, we can understand easily that 128 rupees 50 pay, 56 paise will be the minuend and 67 rupees 86 paise will be the subtrahend. So first of all we need to make two columns rupees and paise. Then we need to put the numbers in proper places like 128 rupees under rupees and 56 paise under paise. Then 67 rupees under rupees and 86 paise under paise. So now we just subtract as normal we have subtracted uh, that, that procedure we need to follow. So after subtraction we have got 60 rupees 70 paise. You write it, you should write it in symbol as the question is given in symbol. So we need to write it in symbol. If you write rupees, you are writing 60 rupees 70 paise. Then also your answer is correct. So this is your homework. You should do it in copy and or, or you, you can write in the comment section also. Actually it is your uh, worksheet number 50 so you will get it in school websites so do it and uh, practice it so thank you